Brian from Drawboard here. So let's say that you've got a PDF document and you want to do things like add a few pages or rotate the page depending on what you've currently got. Together in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the page manipulation options within Drawboard PDF. So I have a document here and it's got three pages, one, two, and three. If I want to add a few more pages, what I would do is I would go to the left hand side menu to these three dots that indicate document options. When I click on that, it's going to give me some extra options. I'm going to go all the way down to page manipulation and then I'm going to click on insert. When I do this, this interface pops up. Here we've got a couple of options that we've got here. The first one is how many pages we would like to add. So I'm going to say that I want to add two. Placement and position are kind of linked together. So the position is which page we want to focus on. So let's say that I want to focus on the third page. Placement refers to whether or not I want these additional pages to be before or after that page of focus. So let's say that I want after the third page. We've also got additional options here, like deciding whether or not we want these pages to be portrait or landscape. And then we also allow you to change the size of these pages. So let's say I don't want the same dimensions as the current document, but I want something like an A4 sheet of paper. I just have to click A4 in my page size. Now for our pro and premium members, we give you the ability to have additional templates be added within these new pages. So I'm going to click on some grid paper and yeah, I want some notebook paper rather than just your plain blank sheet. Once I'm happy with all my options, I'm going to click on the tick and you might not see it now, but when I scroll down to the third page and go underneath, I've got some A4 sheets of paper. Now let's go one step further. I don't actually want to add a new sheet, but I want to do things like rotate existing pages. In order to do that, I go to these three dots again, page manipulation, rotate. Now here we get this interface, which allows me to choose which pages I want to rotate. So we can choose either a range or a particular page. If you just want that one page, then make sure that the from and to page numbers are the same. So I want to only change the third page. And we give you the option to either rotate it clockwise or anti-clockwise. So I'm going to choose clockwise. Once you're happy with your choice, feel free to click on the tick. And then once I hit to the third page, you'll see that it has been rotated counterclockwise. And there you have it. That's how you do some basic page manipulations within Drawboard PDF.